What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time, we finished the setup. That's quite the setup, if you don't mind me being a pony. Today, we tackled the naked 187 city. 187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. Uh, okay. Just like I told you about the DLC ca cases in the past, 90% of them have this boring start. Anyway, I should start introducing us as Detective Earl. This is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Hmm. <laughs> like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. Uh. I really hope you're joking, Roy. Someone ought to take him home. He's loaded. Okay, that escalated quickly. Very boring. Like I said, all DLC cases, including this, we actually have, I think, two more? Seem no, distracted. We, one more. we recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? No. Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. No, we're not. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages. The odds for and against lightning striking. This is morbid to think about, Roy. I wasn't really expecting that. All right, where are we at today? We were at the murders. Cool, what a generic name for a place. As per DLC cases, we'll go over all five achievements. And hopefully we can do it all at the right time. Second floor. Apartment six. In the back. Thanks for Thanks. not letting me... All right. Bukowski! Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Or can we get on with it? Relax, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers so. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. Hold on. Hold on. We did Is there anything? Okay. We got a nice little potted plant. Cute little apartment. All right. Wait. Hold on, I'm missing something. This is why I'm hesitating. Cause my notes are like, wait a minute. Did I miss something downstairs? Yes, I did. Okay, there it is. There's the morphine. There it goes. Holy. Mal will be pleased. Okay. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. All right. I knew I was missing. Like, wait. Okay. When you need to find three of those, we will find three of those today. All right. Let's go examine the body, shall we? Is she gonna be naked? Please don't be naked. Um. Phelps? Mal, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, 
water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. Notice anything about our Vic? May I take a look? Be my guest. We never answered the question. Take a closer look at her head and neck. Bruising on the forearms and these look like bite marks. Very good. Kinky. Ooh, this is a pretty ring. A very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. Fancy. All right. What a brush. Probably nothing. Oh, wait. Just when I think I've seen it all. Can't... The neck is bruised pretty badly. Oh, okay. I was like, what are we doing? The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Sorettes. It would make my theory. My morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Sorettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Well, I'm more... Can... Okay, hold on. No. I see the barbiturates, and I'm like... Do I already have those clues? Is that what the game's doing to me? No. No, give me the freaking... Huh. You know what? We'll come back for this. Let's go to the bedroom. Anything in the pockets? Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. That's weird. Oh, okay, I have to use these. I was thinking of these ones. That... Looks like barbiturates. You knew I was about to a barbiturates? Marilyn Monroe did. But you with those pharaohs who oppose me like Moses. Barbiturates. Oh. What else is rattling around in this thing? We should speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Getting those that young? Ugh. Uh. All right. Was it trying to get the achievement yet? Cool. It makes my life a little bit easier. I'm missing one more clue. Get out of my way, Roy. Could have been a modeling assignment. Is there anything behind it? Yeah. Similar to what, uh, it's place Adrian to start. White case. Alright. So, I guess at this point, let's talk to her. I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, oh, what was there? I, I don't know. 
If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. You're all rustled. I'm a little bit concerned. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. You're not telling the truth here. What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why does she have barbiturates at that young of age? Like, come on now. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pillbox. The things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always through clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star. A princess. Does modeling really pay that well? A, you'd be surprised. B... Oh, are barbiturates for weight loss? I want to say it's true. Did Miss Randall have many friends, is it? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Bruh, why are you lying? Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. You know, there's a smoking jacket just in there. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. That's Mr. Henderson's. An older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. All right. What about your relationship with her? What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. Well, I can't accuse you of lying here, but no doubt. Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. It's not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Man, I've seen a pattern between my life and this game. Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. Except no one's done. It's been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. All right, that is everything here. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? I'm even always like, wait a minute. You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm a gal away. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle the dope. Did you see the bruises? Like... That's a huge red flag. You're behind the wheel. We have... Do we know where we're going? Am I missing something? I hope not. Okay, hold on. I'm confused now. Alright. There should be five clues. Oh, crap. Uh, then we can find. We have the ring. The two, uh... Smoking jacket, the sleeping pill, pills, the prescription, and the modeling job. Something's not right. I don't. I, I have everything. I hope. Hey, B, stop it. This is a very long beginning. I apologize for that. Bukowski, Galloway, quite the little reunion in there. Almost brought a tear to my eye. Uh, They're good police. How would you know? You got promoted so fast, you barely had time to learn their names. Let me fill you in. Bukowski's a pushover. Galloway's a drunk. You, that? you could learn a thing or two from both of them. Please. They couldn't work a vice case if their life depended on it. I don't see why they'd be any better or worse at it than me. I noticed you said better. Hubris disguised as humility. Kind of your trademark, don't you think? Why do you always twist everything? Galloway's got nothing to prove. He's been on homicide for years. And he's welcome to it. You're a terrier, Phelps, and that's what I need. Not some old bulldog who can't get up a flight of stairs without coughing up his lunch. Okay, you know what? I'll give him that one. He's not exactly in good health there. So, yeah. So, we're gonna go dress shopping? That should be fun. Why is Roy such in a bad mood today, though? Is it because he doesn't want to work? Well, hello. 
What can I help you I, with I today? I walk. LAPD, ma'am. I hope I haven't done anything wrong. No, ma'am. We're making some inquiries about Julia Randall. Does she work here? No, I had to let her go. Is she in some sort of trouble? She was found dead this morning. Hmm. That's the correct response. How long had Julia worked as a model? Well, she worked in New York before coming here. She was a very beautiful girl. She's telling the truth. Could you tell us why you let Miss Randall go? Husbands sometimes come in here with their wives. When Julia Randall modeled, the husbands were often more interested in her than they were their wives' dresses. The wives weren't happy, and neither was I. So you're jealous. Did she have any close friends here? Actually, yes. Heather Swanson. Would you like to speak with her? I'd like that very much. Please don't inform her about Miss Randall's death. Very well, officer. Heather, these gentlemen are from the LAPD. I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. I understand that you worked with Julia Randall, Miss Swanson? Yes. Julia helped me get my job here. She's not in any kind of trouble, is She's she? She's a hellraiser, isn't she? That was a fast life. Oh, no. Maybe Mrs. Stanley would call her that, but I wouldn't. She's full of life, full of wonderful company. That's a lovely engagement ring. Do you like it? Henry gave it to I'm me. I'm very interested in engagement rings. Do you mind if I take a closer look? What is Phelps up to? This is different from him. That's some pearl, Miss Swanson. Would have cost Henry a fortune. He must really love you. Oh. How did you meet Julia? I was introduced through my fiance, Henry Arnett. Okay. Right there explains everything. Henry is your beau. Tell us about it. Yes, he is. Henry has a fashion business. He and Julia have been friends for years. Friends. Mm-hmm. Are Miss Randall and Mr. Henderson engaged? Who's he? Straight face, okay. She's an old girl. She was wearing a sapphire engagement ring. Someone must have given it to her. She never mentioned a man named Henderson to me. Hmm. That's all for now, Miss Swanson. Could you ask your fiancé to visit Hollywood Police Station? It would be very helpful to our inquiry. Now, wait a moment. I don't think I'll pass on that message until you tell me why you're asking all these questions. Julia Randall was found dead this morning. What? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. She was so full of life. Either she's full of something, or she is. Can you drive to this one? All right, let's go to the doctor's place. All right, where to? Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. Thank you. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Even his voice sounds different. I wonder if they changed voice actors for this one. Alright. Real quick, we're going to pause right here. I'll see you guys in a minute. Or tomorrow.